complete because it's only down to the fourth of the brothers that uh, is uh, killed and that it stops because the theme of the liturgy today is the resurrection. And the fourth son says, it is my choice to die at the hands of men with the hope God gives to being, of being raised up by him, but for you there will be no resurrection to life. So this is really the theme which is taken up, of course, in, in the gospel. But in the whole reading, every one of the sons uh, does acts in the same way by offering their, their life in order to be faithful to God. And lastly, after the mother has witnessed all of her seven sons being martyred, she herself is martyred. The seven sons, of course, uh, spiritually represent the fullness of, uh, of this life. Seven is a perfect number among the Jews. And a, a woman with seven sons is, has a full life, you know, quivers, uh, arrows in her quiver uh, of many blessings. And all those blessings, one by one, are taken away from her before her eyes. And lastly, her own life is snuffed out. But her hope is not in this world, but in the next. And we should remember always that hope is a, a supernatural gift from God, which really has nothing to do with optimism or about the way things are going to turn out today, tomorrow, or the next day. Hope is an eternal salvation and ultimately the prompt that God fulfills his promises. Not only does he uh, promise us heaven if we are faithful, but uh, that promise includes in it the motives to have confidence in God at every moment of our life, no matter what happens, because ultimately God is in charge and in, under his providence in the end, all things work out for his greater glory and for our good. So hope is not optimism. Hope is not the idea that tomorrow is going to be a better day than today. Hope is that God is faithful to his promises and that ultimately all things work to his glory and to the good of those who love him. So as we continue in this Holy Mass, let us uh, renew our hope in Christ and in his promises that no matter what happens to us in this world, every hair of our head has been counted and we can have the courage, the extraordinary courage, which is represented to us today by the seven Maccabean brothers and their heroic mother. Praise be Jesus and Mary.